Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I have some questions about, um, I guess, the pairing of leather, or some people say skiving or thinning, the thinning down of leather. So I have some examples here for you. Here's an orange one, a uh, gray one, and a purple. And I'm just going to show you how to um, how to do it. So here's the knife that I use. It's an X-Acto knife. Let me zoom in. Okay, so it's an X-Acto knife here. Um, it's the... I don't know if, it's, if it has a number. It's just the regular X-Acto knife. These are both the same, just different colors. So I have two. One that, that it's old and uh, the tip has been broken off by accident, but I realized that uh, that was very useful for something I'll show you later. So the gray one, the, or the silver one, is uh, for a specific purpose and the red one is for a different purpose. So the red one, this one's really sharp. Um, I think it's called the Z series, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Z11, let me see if I, I don't know if it's gonna catch it. But let's see. Too close. Eh. Doesn't seem to want to catch it. Anyway, right there it's a Z11. So you just put it on and tighten it. Okay, so usually the way you would have it is um, you want it something like that, right? And you need to you need to thin down this whole thing here. So a couple secrets. I don't know. No one told me. I had to figure it out on my own. When you're doing this, when you're skiving it, you cannot be doing it on a cutting board or on any uh, kind of like a plush surface if it has a if it has if you can press it down a little bit it's going to make it harder so that's where this comes in this is a this thing here um what is this like marble or something i'm not sure if it's just just a slab i bought it my wife got it for me from amazon it wasn't that expensive i think maybe like 40 dollars or something i don't know it is really it comes uh it's really helpful comes in handy um if it took me a long time to figure that out i kept doing it on the cutting board i did it and did it and it was not working out i don't know if that's maybe some of the problems that some other people are having but anyway just uh just a tip so when you're skiving or pairing you want to have it at an angle okay so you start at an angle don't do it this way don't do it cutting down you want to cut at an angle here so you cut at a at an angle and then you start kind of like leveling that angle out so that it's it's not cutting downward anymore it's more like straight so cut down an angle and then straight you do that until it's at the the thinness that you want Let's see if it catches it so it used to be this thick now it's it's a little bit thinner and it leaves off these these pieces here. You just throw that away. So you just keep doing that until it's as thin as you want it. Now you can use different parts of the knife for the for the very edge here. You would use this part of the knife, but for the for the inside part, you would use the the bottom part of the knife right there, where it comes out a little bit. So you can also do it like this. And you can hear it. Well, I don't know if you can hear it, but if you can hear it, it's you can. It sounds like you're scratching, scratching it off. <laughs> you just blow it off. It's not that hard once you get the hang of it. Um, I'll show you the wrong way to do it where it would end up cutting it through it 
here so remember at an angle here not not straight down like this well actually you can do it straight down like that just don't put too much pressure but I'll do it at an angle here until it's as thin as you want it so you know you do have it like that or whatever and these parts would be folded over here right now it's really thin so you'd uh, put glue in here and then you take I take the other knife the one that's blunt well the tip is blunt it's it's still sharp it'll still cut you but if you are careful it won't cut the leather and you can make your folds right there right now I won't let me well let me go get the glue really quick So I use this glue, it's running low, I have more but I don't want to use the other one. So you'd put the glue there, then you'd use some kind of, um, I don't know, I use a brush, I think it's a painting brush. So once you got it there. Oh, this is not zoomed in very well. Let me see if I can get it closer. That's pretty much as close as it's going to get. Right there. Okay. So once you have it on this spot, you put the glue and everything. Um, sorry, I could have done it on, on an actual Bible, but... Uh, I'm not, I didn't work on one today, so I don't have one. And I just want to do this as quickly as possible. So you take the the more blunt knife here, and you make your folds. I might have not cut it enough. Yeah, it looks like I didn't do it uh, enough. But you get the idea. I'll do it again with a different piece of leather. You'd use your finger to keep it down. Is it? I don't know if it's zooming in correctly or not. Keep your finger right there. Move on to the next part. Until it's to the point that you want it to be. So this is this is not a very good one. This is not actually this is actually a little different than how I do it. So this is how most people do it. They do the over over the one leather one piece of leather over the other piece. And uh, that's how it would come out. So let's do it again. With a different one here. So I'll show you how not to do it. Okay. You gotta be careful if you do it too deep, like this, then you ruin it. Then then you gotta start all the way over again. So you gotta be very careful not to do that. Let's use this one now. There's uh, there's my plum purple here. It almost looks brown on this. Maybe maybe it won't look like that on the actual video, but it's purple. You take your sharp knife. And do that again. What we learned in the other, uh, on the first time. See, you're cutting in. You're cutting out the thickness. And um, so these, uh, they're not that expensive. The, I, I think on Amazon, a pack of a hundred is about twenty-five dollars, and I'd say you might be using two or three, depending on the leather. Uh, if you're only using for skiving or for paring down, whatever, 
Um, you're only going to use like two or three. If you're using this to cut the leather as well, then you might go through through more of them per uh, per Bible. But yeah, just keep scratching it off. Be careful not to scratch all the way through. Don't do it too hard. You can kind of tell when it's close to tearing. So do it softer when you're getting too deep. But just keep going until... Well, once you do it, you'll know how thin you need it. The last time I, did, I didn't get it as thin as it needed to be. So that's why I was having a hard time folding it. Oh, crap. <laughs> Not even in the video. Yeah, just keep scratching it like this. Well, this is pretty much as thin as you need it. Just get it a little more even. So let me just show you the thick the difference in thickness here. So that's how thick it was at the beginning. And now uh, that's how thin it is. It's probably like maybe half, okay? Uh, it's not quite even yet. Okay, so let's try it with the uh, same piece. Yeah, I'm running out of this glue. <laughs> so just say that's how it is right there. So you'd want to put the glue right around here. You take your brush and you brush it in. Try not to get it up here. Um, some leathers get darker with moisture so I usually darken this leather anyway I like the way it looks when it's darker but you take your uh, blunt blunt -er knife <laughs> um, still be careful with it. It, it is I mean depending on how you do it it's mine's still pretty sharp so now you do the, the fold right here Maybe I'll do a digital zoom or something, but it's should use a different lens here. Um, yeah, but yeah, you just drag. You press the leather here and you drag it back. And this is not the the best way to do it. I mean, I don't know what the best way to do it is. This is just how I do it. I've not. It didn't take me that long to figure this out. Um, so there's probably like a better way to do it. I don't know. If someone has a better way, then uh, maybe they should be teaching me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you want to get those corners like uh, more pronounced, then well, you got to put a lot of pressure here so that the glue stays on there so that the leather stays with glue until it dries well enough. I usually uh, use a hammer right here um, and I tap it a few times. Again, these are like my secrets or whatever. <laughs> um, but once you hammer it in, it will it won't be as pronounced as it is right now. Let's see if it focuses. Yeah, so it won't be as pronounced as this, it'll be um, It'll be a little more flat. I guess kind of like this, but even more. And then if you want to pronounce it more, um, you just take this, be careful not to cut it, but run it outward like this. Put some, some pressure, but not a ton of pressure because you might cut through the leather. Some leathers are thinner than others. Some of them are cheaper than others and um and this is cowhide both of these and i 
I think that's my favorite leather, honestly, to work with. And it's very nice and sturdy as well. Uh, it's pretty similar to calfskin, but cowhide. Um, but yeah, here it is. This is how it would turn out if you use this technique. Um, if you have any questions, you can message me on, on Facebook. I, I try to stay on there. Uh, my phone's always on on the messenger I might not always pay attention but uh, generally I'll, I'll see it at some point in the day if I'm not too busy with the family and everything um, but yeah it's it's not that hard um, once you get the hang of it and um, or and once you learn how to do it hopefully this will help uh, some of you and uh, maybe some of you will see a different way to do it. Maybe you guys already have a way. Uh, you can go ahead and try this one and, and see if it works for you. Thank you.